he really feels the pain of a city. Uh, right now we're looking at the rally, the folks that are gathering for this rally in Tacoma near the mural of Manuel Ellis, Manny as he was known. He was 33 years old when he died after that interaction with police. That is a crowd that has continued to grow since the verdict was read just a few short hours ago. Joining us now is Mo Hamoudi, the adjunct professor at Seattle University School of Law, also a trial lawyer at the Herman Law Group. We so appreciate you being with us to give us some analysis of this. So as you know, all three officers were acquitted. Two had been facing murder and manslaughter charges. One, a manslaughter charge. All three not guilty. What is your reaction to that? I think my reaction to that is, is that some are going to be spending Christmas with a sense of injustice, and some are going to be spending Christmas with a sense of justice. Uh, the impact of that verdict is created a sense of tension um, that can be best summed up by uh, Mr. Ellis's family, who spoke so eloquently saying, this wasn't just a son, it was a black son, it was my son. And for so many people, and we heard Victoria Woodard say that there is not going to be a sense of justice for everyone. As you said, some people will feel like justice was served, others will feel like it was not. Um, but it's so important, as she pointed out, to respect the decision of the jury. The, the 12 people who spent the last two plus months listening to every single piece of evidence and then respecting that that's the way the justice system works. How important is that? I think that's critical. You have to respect the jury's uh, verdict. The jury spoke. They spoke clearly. Um, and what that means is, is that they heard the evidence. They weighed it. It does not mean uh, that the officers were found necessarily innocent. It means that the prosecution did not necessarily meet its burden of proof. And in this country, we have the highest burden of proof in criminal cases. You have to demonstrate beyond a reasonable doubt that someone has committed a crime. And that verdict means that the prosecution was not able to meet that mm -hmm. burden. Of course, many of us go back to the videotape. Many of us have seen that videotape of Manny Ellis being tased and punched and hogtied. But that was not enough for the jury to come to a guilty verdict. Why was that alone not enough? I think that when you speak about the video, you're talking about an aspect of the case. Mm -hmm. This case would have been a lot different had Manny Ellis's history not been brought before the jury. We're talking about the prior interactions with the police. Um, so it is hard to say why the, ev why the video evidence wasn't enough, because there was just a lot of other evidence that came in about his characteristics, about his behavior. His mental health history, all his, kinds of things. All his kinds of things. Use. So yeah. I think that uh, part of the issue was the video. But I think the larger issue was that there was just so much evidence demonstrating that Manny Ellis behaved in a particular way, as he had done in the past, and the fact that the police officer who took the stand testified um, that he did not intend to kill him and did not intend to cause his death um, and was just trying to do his job. Um, and probably uh, the officer's uh, testimony, the jury expressing remorse, I would say had a had, had a lot to do with this jury's verdict. Even though there happened to be a holdout, there was somebody holding out in that jury with respect to some counts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that that, that was critical uh, for the defense. And talk more about that part of the case and that piece of the testimony and the officer. Um, some of the things that he said and why it weighed so heavily. I, I mean, it shows some humanity yeah, in this abso case. Absolutely. I think that jurors want to connect with the people they are ultimately going to judge. And someone is being accused of killing somebody criminally. And this officer gets up there and he is telling this jury, I did not get up and that morning or something to that effect intending to kill someone. I'm, this is a tragedy just as much for me as it is for Mr. Ellis's family. And when, when the jury hears that, they are moved, if they believe it to be sincere, and they felt it was sincere, it's hard for them to set that aside and trying to decide somebody's fate, especially a police officer. Police officers are not ordinary citizens. They are authorized 
by law to use force. They hold a special place in the jury's eyes. This is particularly why this community is so divided, is because there is tension between that authority that's exercised over a part of the community that feels historically oppressed. That's the tension that needs to be addressed. This verdict is not going to answer that tension. It is the responsibility of the leaders, it is the responsibility of the community to address what injustice remains for the Ellis family and everybody else in that community. And so what should we all, each of us individually, take away from the outcome of this case? Certainly, even with the outcome, the officers are not celebrating. A man has died. They may be relieved, but they still have to live with the fact that their actions have resulted in a man's death, right? So what, what is it that we take away from this that would be helpful, useful? I think what we take away from it is that there was a concerted effort to try to reach a resolution. That process matters. Going to court and bringing our debates, our quarrels, our disputes to a court of law and resolving them in a civil way is the way to do it. That is what our institutions are built on. Violence is not the way to do it. That is not going to solve our problems. That is just going to make them worse. Um, so if anything to take away from this is that a large group of people came together to seriously consider the question of this human being's death and did their level best to try to answer it. And it's left some people with regret and some people feeling as though the nightmare is over for them. And that's what we take away from it, the effort that went in, the, process, the good faith effort that went into this process to try to come to an answer. A commitment on the part of these public servants. Yes. Mo Hamoudi, so grateful for your inside expertise. We appreciate your legal analysis and uh, really appreciate you being here tonight with us on such an important day. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you.